Hold still, Bob. This won't hurt a bit, I promise. Hey everybody, glad to see you. Today we're gonna to be talking about a product from Strike Face. No, I'm just playing, Bob told me to say that. It's actually from Battle Steel. And this is soft body armor. And this of course is the, the Strike Face. This is the face that you know, you're gonna be shooting at, or if you're gonna put it on you, you'd want this to be the part that's gonna get hit by the bullet. Now these are made of polyethylene and they are soft body armor. Now if you're not familiar with the ratings, and I may flash them up on the screen, but basically level 3A is gonna get you up to 44 Magnum. Now in Mr. Guns and Gears testing, he actually went up to 500 Magnum and he also tried 556, which did fail, but that's expected. Now you can get these in different sizes. This one is the 10 by 12 and it's 15 ounces in weight. That was the amazing part. I could not believe when I got these how light these are. And if I hadn't seen the tests online, I honestly would not believe that these could, could stop a, a bullet, you know, a pistol round. It's just amazing. I mean, so light. I mean, 15 ounces, that's, that's less than a pound. So that's crazy. But I may do some, some field testing of my own out there. For now, I just wanted to recommend this as something you might want to consider buying if you haven't. You know, I took stock of what I had. I got plenty of guns, plenty of ammo, plenty of long-term food storage. Got everything I need, but I thought, you know what? One thing I never have invested in is some soft body armor. You know, I've got the heavy plates and, you know, those would pretty much stop anything. But I wanted to get something in the lighter caliber here. And now, as of the making of this video, 45 bucks shipped. You just search for Battle Steel soft body armor plates. You'll find these things pop up all over the place. And the place I got them, it starts with a B and then an O and then a T, but I won't go any further. Link in the description to Mr. Guns and Gears channel. He had an old video out there and he actually talks about where he got these. Brave man. I definitely see these going up in price. So you just might want to make sure you've got a few of these. I scooped up four of them. Now my main thinking on this was for kids, you know, my nieces and nephews. This is something where they could put this in their backpack and it's not going to add much weight. I mean, it's it's really not any different than a normal, like a form-fitting backing on a, on a backpack or a, a bag of some sort. They could put that in there and then obviously when they've got their books in there as well, then I'm not saying it'd be guaranteed to stop a rifle round. I certainly would never say that on camera, but it certainly wouldn't hurt and it's gonna stop a pistol round. Almost all criminals use pistols to commit crimes. I mean, it is very rare that someone uses a rifle to commit a crime. Now they do, but it's extremely rare. Okay, change of plans. Bob has actually agreed to let me test out up to nine millimeter. Now do not try this at home, and I'm just kidding, folks. <laughs> Alright, make sure you like, subscribe, and you can check us out at bradctv.com.